I've been running around in circles for so long. I never really understood what I did wrong. I'm trying hard to find a place where I belong. I lived an empty life, but I had to carry on. I guess I really was giving up on love. And I tried to block those feelings off. In a millisecond, and it all came back when I thought that everything was lost. On a cold November night, when I met my missus right, made my feelings come to life again. When I thought I didn't care, I just saw what's standing near, made my feelings come to life again. While browsing for an LED bulb, I came across this product in AliExpress. It is made by s and a top brand in automotive LED bulbs in AliExpress. Yes, this bulb looks odd, but I was surprised that this is the top selling bulb in that site. About the price, this is cheaper than most H11 bulb. Well, not just H11, but most of the bulbs. Considering the amount of lumens this bulb has, ratings were good as well. So I searched for contents here in YouTube. It was a mix of good and not so good reviews. So I decided to went ahead with the purchase and create a content about this. The GoPath channel way. I will not talk about the wattage accuracy of the bulb and other technical stuff. What I'm after is the bulb performance in real driving condition. Let's find out whether this bulb is really worth buying. The tip of the bulb is coated with silicon. Ah, I thought it is a glass. I know the silicon will hold up against the heat from the LED chip. First off, let me compare the bulb with the standard H11 halogen. The height of the LED chip and the halogen filament from the bulb base are almost the same. So, will this LED produce a better light output on my projector fog lamps, just like the halogen bulb? That's what we'll find out later. Installing this bulb was quite easy. I don't need to clock the bulb properly since the LED diodes are located around the bulbs. 360 degrees light source. As expected, a much brighter light compared to the previous bulbs. And now let's hit the road to see how the bulbs perform. I am in the darker portion of the tollway. Uh, this is fog lights only. The light is evenly spread from left to right. Now let me switch the headlight. I was able to achieve a much brighter lighting setup. I can tell that my fog lamps now are much brighter than the headlights. Now let's see how it looks on the inside. Big difference and improvement on my new setup. The light beams from the headlight and fog lamps are identical. Even the light pattern from left to right almost one lane on each side. On city driving when the traffic is at slow pace, letting the fog lamps work while the headlight is off is not a bad idea. Night driving while raining can no longer add stress. Thanks to my projector fog lamps, Paired with a high lumens LED has greatly increased the nighttime visibility. 
However, I notice the brightness of the light is not that crisp. Even the bulb is rated at 20,000 lumens. Okay, given there is a 20% drop in the light output, which is about 16,000 lumens, the brightness is better but not that strong and crisp. Which is what I'm looking for, by the way. Let's find out why. Let me see the light beam against the wall. Going back to my video about the importance of LED bulb position, if you haven't watched the video, kindly click on the link to watch it after this. Since this is a 360 degrees bulb, it produces this kind of cloudy beam pattern. Yes, that U shape on both light beams that produces a W. I am already expecting this kind of beam pattern resulting to a not solid cutoff line and a reduced brightness. The light intensity is concentrated on the middle it is supposed to be evenly spread across. From the left side of the vehicle all the way to the right, the light coverage is similar to the headlight. Since both are on projectors, the beam angle of the fogs and the headlights are excellent. Now let me talk about the yellow light color at the edge of the light beam. I can tell this is normal on projectors. Maybe due to the light distortion of the projector lenses. So what can I say about these bulbs? For me, not good. Why? Because the light intensity is weak and not that crisp. Not that solid light output that I'm looking for. Maybe those who had this bulb are already contented with the light it produces. Yes, it is bright as expected due to the high lumens it can produce. But overall, there are other better bulbs available in the market. So I still need to purchase the best two-sided LED bulbs. Uh, but I already have an idea. I will definitely share that in my upcoming videos. Oh, before I forget, please be mindful of the glare this bulb can produce when installed in a halogen lamps. I hope you like this video. Share your thoughts. Please like and I wish you consider subscribing to this channel as well. Thank you for watching. Stay safe everyone.